I built this boring head some 20 years ago. At 0.1 millimeter, the dial is a bit coarse. This and other reasons prompted me to fit a dial indicator for accurate and fine adjustment. This piece of U section shall act as a V block. The areas in contact with the boring head need to be machined. The tips are first trued. And the inside sections are milled. The DRO is used to chamfer the edges and to locate the central hole. The bottom is then milled parallel to the tips. The pin securing the U-section to the boring head is turned. The indicator holding arm shall fit here. The thinner section shall fit in the boring head. This area shall be threaded to fit in the U-section. The boring head is held by the tool holder to align it with the dial indicator. A DTI is used to adjust for perpendicularity. The DRO is used to locate the center of the boring head.
The indicator holding arm is finished using a sheer tool I made using clapped out inserts. It removes a gnat's cunt hair and leaves a gorgeous finish. Holes are then drilled and reamed, at either end. Each end is drilled and tapped for a screw. A reamer is used to remove burrs. I turn a couple of thumb screws out of brass. Almost done, just needs a spring to hold it in place. I use the shears I built to make a tab. The location of the locking notch on the tab is marked. A nippler tool is used to cut the notch. And this is how the attachment is fitted on. The stronger spring holds it snugly. The attachment is easy to fit. The boring head can now make finer and accurate increments.